Hello and welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you have requested an air fryer ideas video which is exactly what I've done for you today. I wouldn't say it's a recipe video as such but I've definitely shown you some different ideas other than your standard chips and wedges which is what I seem to always cook in mine. If you are new here then hello and welcome. I do a lot of food content on this channel. I do slow cooker videos, cook with me's, family meal ideas, shopping hauls. So if you go and have a look around and you like what you see then I'd love it if you'd subscribe and stick around. So without further ado let's go and see what I've cooked in the air fryer. Right, so this is my air fryer. It is a Kasori make and in the interest of transparency I have been gifted this but it was about 18 months ago I've already done the video for that brand so this is not a sponsored video they haven't asked me to do another one I do really recommend it though I really like the tray style air fryers I have had one with a paddle before and I found that it just crushed up the food too much and obviously you couldn't do things like pizza wraps and that in it because it spins around so this one comes with a pull out tray and then you can also remove the basket for ease of like dishing things up. These are completely washable, which is really good. So mine is actually a three and a half litre, which is the smaller style air fryer. I find it absolutely fine because we don't do masses of food in it. You'd have to put everything in separately on different temperatures anyway. So it's really good for cooking one type of thing at a time. I'll try and show you the presets. Down the side, you've got things like steak, you've got chicken, fish prawns try and focus on the display you can see it just doesn't like being on camera but basically every time you change it like if i change it to chicken it goes to 195 if i press steak but we can also manually enter our temperature and our time as well what i would do i will try and find this one if they still do it i will leave it linked in the description box i will also link a few other models that are very similar in case you want to go and take a look at those and let's get into cooking our first item so the air fryer cooks chicken really, really well and it saves you putting your oven on for what's a small amount of chicken. It saves so much energy and you can just go off and leave it to do its thing. So what I've got here is just some chicken drumsticks, bone in, skin on, and all I've done is just scored them slightly and then I've put a couple of tablespoons of this tandoori masala powder on top and a couple of tablespoons of lime juice and just mixed it all together. The best idea for this really is to let it sit for a couple of hours at least. You can leave it overnight. Obviously the longer you leave it the more the flavour will intensify. So what I'm going to do is just pop some of these in my air fryer. Open up a basket and I'm just going to get my tongs and lay these in. I'm not going to add any oil or anything. Kind of do them alternately so like fat bit that end, <laughs> thin bit that end if you know what I mean. They kind of fit in better. Like I said, I haven't got the biggest one. Mine, I believe, is a three and a half litres. So comfortably, I can fit five in here. You can layer them up because the heat does penetrate throughout. But for the purposes of the video, I just kind of want to show you them just laid on the bottom. And then I'm just going to shut my drawer. So I'm just going to turn it on. And then I've actually got a setting for chicken drumsticks. So what we do is press that. And I don't know if you can see because the LED is quite hard to read on camera. So that's reading 195 degrees Celsius and it says 25 minutes. And all I do now is literally just press play and it will start cooking. Right, so my timer has just finished. And as you can see, they're really nice and crispy. So I'm just going to take them out and pop them in my dish. And all the flavour has gone inside and you can hear crispy skin and there you go crispy tandoori air fried chicken wings so next up I'm going to make some air fryer scotch eggs and what I've got first of all is 12 Cumberland sausages and I'm just going to skin these obviously you could use like sausage meat ready made but I just thought I'd use sausages because sometimes it's easier to get hold of these than it is sausage meat. These are the Cumberland ones, like I said, so they've already got like herbs and spices in them, but you could definitely add your own seasonings. A really good idea and something that I make sausage rolls with a lot is my Christmas stuffing recipe, or just a Christmas stuffing recipe. I'm sure lots of people make it. Um, basically, you just mix your sausage meat with a packet of dry like Paxo stuffing, and then you could wrap that around the eggs and breadcrumb it and air fry it. I think that would make a really nice sort of sage and onion kind of flavouring. But like I said, these have already got lots of herbs in. So for now, because they're having breadcrumbs on as well, I don't want them to be too massively thick. So I'm just doing mine like this. So I'm just going to skin them all. Like I said, I've got 12. So I'm thinking this will probably do six scotch eggs. 
Right, so once your eggs are peeled, and obviously I peel eggs all the time, we eat boiled eggs a lot in this house and I peel them perfectly. Because I'm doing a video and I wanted them perfect, they've peeled not brilliantly, but they're still whole. I've already done one here, and as you can see it's sealed up. They are huge, so this is like have it with a little bit of salad for your dinner kind of egg. It's not just like a picnic size. Well, it is a picnic size, but I mean, not like the little ones you can just pop a whole one in your mouth. I'm just gonna sort of make a little egg nest in the middle. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm just gonna keep like working the sausage meat out until you've got enough space to put your egg. And I'm gonna take one of my eggs, pop it in the middle, and then it's basically just maneuvering sausage meat around an egg until it forms like a little blanket <laughs> around it um, without leaving any gaps the other side. So obviously it's not a pleasant job really. I mean, it's, it's messy, but the more you sort of roll it around, the more it's gonna stick, then you can kind of fold it over. Luckily sausage meat is really sticky. So we kind of want it to be the same width the whole way around. So I'm just gonna like maneuver it into place. I don't know if this is the correct terminology um, and just sort of round it off nice and even. And there we go, we've got another another little egg. So I'm gonna do this with my remaining four. So the next step is to coat our sausage and egg mixture. We're gonna dip it in some egg. I've just got two beaten eggs in here and then I've just got some golden breadcrumbs. I actually got these from Lidl. You can make your own. You could use panko breadcrumbs. You could use cornflakes. You could use anything like that really. Crushed Doritos for a spicy kind of egg. I'm just using golden breadcrumbs today. So what I'm gonna do is take each one and I'm gonna roll it around. Like I said, this is a messy job. <laughs> So I'm gonna roll it around in the egg so that it all gets nice and coated on the outside. And then we're literally just gonna plonk it into the breadcrumbs and make sure that the whole outside of that is coated. And there we go, each one is gonna look like that. Now I'm just gonna pop it back on there while I do the rest. So I'm going to do these at 200 degrees for 12 minutes so I can change my time. I know again it's really hard to see. So I'm going to change my temperature to 200 degrees. So now I've got it set at 12 minutes, 200 degrees. I'm going to open it up and I think I'm probably going to get four in here nicely. So I'm going to pop my four in and I just press play and off we go. Right, so our 12 minutes is up and they are looking really nice and crispy. They're sounding very nice and crispy. And they look good. They're really, really, really hot. Um, so what I'll do, I'll take them out now and I'll cut one open so we can see what they look like. Right, so let's cut one open. Oh, yeah. That is perfect. Mine were large eggs and I used two sausages per egg. Obviously everyone's egg size, they're not all exactly uniform, are they? So I would say mine around the edges is perfectly done, like cooked. You can see it's still moist, but it's not raw. You just need to keep an eye. You might need to do it longer than 12 minutes. Your air fryer might not get quite as hot. It might help if you preheat it. So just play it by ear. I just wouldn't want anyone getting ill saying I did them for 12 minutes and they weren't quite cooked. You can see it's still lovely and moist. The sausage meat hasn't dried out, which it will do if you do them obviously for way too long, but they look amazing. I'm very impressed with those. I think you could serve those on a nice little platter. How would you arrange a scotch egg to look nice? I don't know. I don't know if there's a, oh, there you go. You can arrange those on a nice little platter, a little bit of salad, maybe a little chunk of bread or something, a bit like a plowman's and perfect for kids lunch boxes. Steve could take these to work for his lunch. Serve them with some baked beans. Very, very nice. So there's another thing you can cook in your air fryer. 
So the next thing we're going to do is one of my boys' personal favourites, which is bacon wrapped cheese strings. Basically, it is what he says. You just wrap bacon around the cheese strings, put them in the air fryer, and then it goes all gooey and crispy. They're just really nice as like a side. So what I've done, I've just got some of your normal cheese strings. Uh, these are the twisted ones. It doesn't really matter which ones you use. So I've taken them out of their packet and laid them on a plate. And what I'm going to do is pop these in the freezer for about four hours because otherwise they melt too quickly. So it just helps them stay a little bit firmer. Right, so my cheese strings are out of the freezer and completely frozen. All I've done is taken three rashers of bacon and slice them in half. I'm just going to take one rasher of bacon and wrap the cheese string in it. So I am actually going to put these on at 200 degrees and I'm going to give them 10 minutes to start with. Right, so I checked them after 5 minutes, so that's a good tip. I thought 10, but I've checked them after 5 and they are done. So I'm going to get these out now. So for our next air fryer recipe or dish, I'm going to do some rice stuffed peppers as like a side dish to a chicken that I'm making as well, also in the air fryer. So I've got some of these peppers. I thought these were really sweet. They're actually quite small, like that's the size of my hand. So I'd say they're probably about like two thirds the size of a normal pepper. Um, and I just thought they'd be ideal as like a little side dish because sometimes when you get like the massive peppers it just seems way too much especially seeing as we're having chicken and we're also having some halloumi so what I'm going to do is cut these in half scoop out the middles then I'm going to fill them with some of this Mexican style rice this is just from Lidl it was 39p um, it's microwavable but that means it's already cooked so I'm not going to worry about faffing around with cooking rice and things this is already flavoured I'm going to pop this into the peppers and then I'm going to put them in the air fryer for around 10 minutes take them out then put some grated cheese and pop them back in and that should be our side dishes done <laughs> this one I'm actually going to preheat my air fryer because the peppers are going to take a little while to cook so I've actually got a button on here and you should press it and it just puts it on 205 for five minutes so if you haven't got a preheat function you could try that just 205 degrees celsius for five minutes if you can still hear me I'm now going to fill my peppers <laughs> are stuffed albeit I've made a complete mess what I've done is obviously oh, my hands are very clean I've just pushed my rice right down into the peppers so it kind of gets in right inside and each one is nicely filled so I'm just going to pop them into my basket plain pepper tetris with my air fryer as long as there's a small gap between each one that's fine if we just move that one up a little bit so there we go I've managed to get them all in and I'm going to put these in on about 200 degrees for 10 minutes and then I'm going to see how they are and probably put some cheese on if they're getting soft and then give them another five minutes right so these have had 10 minutes at 200 degrees in all honesty the rice has just started to catch on the top so I would probably do them still for 10 minutes but maybe take it down a notch or two maybe like 160 170 because I think 200 was just too high heat they still look fine and it's not it doesn't feel hard but you can see they're just starting to color I'm just going to pop some cheddar on top and this will cover over the rice and it won't catch any more I think it's because it's pre-cooked as well so we're just going to pop this over the top the good thing about the air fryer as well is that this one is in like a basket so this entire basket comes out the whole basket comes out and then you're left with everything in the bottom there so all the rice and things that's fallen through and you can just pop these in the wash so it doesn't matter if any cheese or anything falls through the bottom it's not like you're never going to be able to clean it so I'm just going to put a nice handful of cheese I have felt the peppers though and they are nice and soft like they, they've they gone really really quickly considering they've only been in there 10 minutes and what I'm going to do now I'm going to pop it back on and I'm going to give it another 5 minutes but I'm going to take it down from 200 so I'm going to leave it at 180 and just give it 5 minutes 
Right, so here are peppers out of the air fryer. And as you can see, they've gone really nice and crispy on some of the edges. The peppers themselves are nice and soft and the rice has gone all cheesy. I'm really impressed with this actually because they take such a long time in the oven and they do burn quite easily. So what I'll do, I'm gonna cut one in half just to show you. And there you can see inside you've got your rice and then you've got your cheese and your nice soft pepper and it makes perfect accompaniment in just 15 minutes. So I just wanted to show you, this has had the peppers in, so I just clip this forward, push the button and I can lift this basket out and then I can just run both of these under the hot soapy water and I can give them a good clean and then they're good as new. Right, so for the next thing I'm going to make, I'm going to do a parmesan crusted chicken. So I've got two chicken breasts in this bowl and I've got some beaten egg mixture here. And I've just got some parmesan cheese and a few breadcrumbs mixed together in this bowl. So I'm just going to coat the chicken in the egg and then roll it in the breadcrumbs and the parmesan mixture. And then we're going to put this in the air fryer and it should take around 15 minutes. So we're going to put it in and then after 10, I'm just going to take it out and turn it over. So I'm just going to lay my two chicken breasts in my air fryer. And then I'm going to do it at 180 degrees for 15 minutes, which is what it's set to. And then after 10 minutes, I'm just going to take it out and check it. Right, so my chicken's had 10 minutes, so I'm just going to turn it over and give it another five. So while my chicken's cooking, I'm just preparing my halloumi. So I've prepared a clean mixture of breadcrumbs, parmesan cheese, some smoked paprika and some chilli flakes. And I'm just coating my halloumi in a little bit of egg. And then I'm just going to pop it on a plate ready to pop in the air fryer. Here is my chicken out of the air fryer. What I'm going to do is just pop it in the oven to keep it warm while I cook my halloumi, which I'm going to put in for about six or seven minutes. There's my halloumi going in. Here is our halloumi out of the air fryer. We've got our peppers that I did and I've just warmed those through in the oven. Our chicken and we've just got a little bit of salad and this is going to be a complete meal. Right, so for our next air fryer recipe kind of food, we're going to make s'mores. And basically what I'm going to do, I've got some rich tea biscuits, some milk chocolate and some marshmallows. So I'm going to take one rich tea biscuit. Well, actually, I'm going to take a few. I'm going to open I'm going to lay the rich tea biscuits in the air fryer. So I've got six in there, and then what I'm going to do is put one marshmallow, these are giant marshmallows by the way, in the middle of each rich tea. This is just something we love to do. Ow. It's something we love to do when we're camping, or when we go somewhere that has like an open fire, or like a log burner. So we're going to put one in the middle of each rich tea biscuit. And then I've got this on 195 degrees and they're literally gonna take between two and three minutes. Right, so we take each one out. Oh no, oh no, oh, it stuck to me. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do is place on a square of chocolate and then basically just let it melt together. You can see the chocolate now is getting warm on the marshmallow, as you can see. The chocolate is melting and sticking the biscuit and the marshmallow together and then you have got your chocolatey s'more. So the next thing we are going to make in our air fryer is pizza pockets. So I've just got a plain tortilla wrap and I'm going to put some tomato puree kind of in a swirl. I'm going to mix this up, like spread it around. Basically like a wrap pizza, but much easier to eat because it doesn't go all floppy and all over the place. So I've got my tomato puree. What I'm gonna do next is get a good handful of grated cheddar. And I'm gonna try and keep it kind of in a circle in the middle because we're gonna fold this in. A nice amount of cheese. You can put any toppings you like in this. I'm gonna put some ham, just some sandwich ham. I'm also gonna put some pepperoni. Put four of those 
and I'm going to put some sliced jalapenos which are just out of a jar because we like spices you could put mushrooms peppers tomatoes anything you like on a pizza ham and pineapple if you're a ham and pineapple person I'm just going to top that with the remaining cheese you could do tandoori chicken or you could use barbecue sauce instead of the tomato puree so what I'm going to do now is attempt to kind of fold it all in on itself so we're going to go in that side and make like a little pocket and we're just going to keep folding it in until all the sides are pulled over and you end up with like a star shaped kind of parcel if I put it down this way and we're going to put it in our air fryer this side down got kind of like a little star shaped parcel and what I'm going to do now is put that in my air fryer seam side down in the air fryer I'm going to cook this at 180 I'm actually going to take the time down to 10 minutes to start with and we will check it after about five so let's just press play so here we are out of the air fryer I've got some more in on the go because obviously there is a family of five and one is not enough I'm just going to cut into this one to show you what it looks like on the inside it's got really lovely and crispy open it up you've got a perfect little wrap pizza pocket with all your nice pepperoni goodness and your melted cheese jalapenos whatever toppings you like really and there you go pizza pockets so that is it for this video if you have enjoyed it then as usual please leave me a like to let me know and then i can create more of this content for you and like i said before if you're not already subscribed and you like what you see then please hit that subscribe button turn on notifications and i will be back really soon with another video take care guys this is what we waited for